Hello, you are welcome once again to New Focus Approach to Mathematics Basic 7. This is the revised edition. In this lesson, we want to learn how to translate word problems into linear equations and solve them. And we want to utilize flag diagram in doing this. This lesson can be found in page 222. So when you are given a word problem like this, all we want to do is to model the problem into mathematical statement. Then we will solve it using flag diagram. Now, flag diagram helps you to pick the problem one after the other, model it systematically. You do forward and then the backwards. So we move it in one direction, then we move opposite direction to get our results. Now, let's look at the question. Three times a number. I don't know the number, so I want to represent it by x. 3 times a number minus 7 is 20. 3 times a number minus 7 is 20. Now, this is the equation. We want to represent this equation. So there is a number I don't know. I call it x. 3 times the number gives me 3x. Right? Minus 7 gives me 3x minus 7. Right, so I have this. Now that represents the left hand side of the equation. On the right hand side, we start with 20 and we go backwards. Remember that when we are moving forward and it's addition, backwards we subtract and vice versa. In multiplication, when you are moving forward and it's multiplication, if you want to go backwards, you divide. You remember the concept of multiplicative inverse and additive inverse. And so multiplicative inverse, if it is multiplication, we divide. If it is division, we multiply. And in additive inverse, if it's addition, we subtract. And if it is subtraction, we add. Okay? So going to the opposite direction, starting from 20, here we saw subtraction. And so we have to do addition. And so we add 7 to 20. The result will give us 27. Then this becomes equivalent to that. Now on this point, we saw times 3. It means we have to divide by 3. So 27 divided by 3 will give us 9. And so this also becomes equivalent to that. So therefore, our x is 9. So for this very question, x is equal to 9. As simple as that. Let's take another example. A girl thinks of a number and double it. Okay? She then subtract 3 and the result is 11. Represent the problem with linear equation and solve it. A girl thinks of a number. Let's call the number n. He doubled the number, so 2n. He then subtract 3 from the number and the result is 11. Now, with the help of flag diagram, we still go by the same approach. A girl thinks of a number n. He doubles the number so times 2. The number becomes 2n. He subtracts 3 from the number. And the result becomes 2n minus 3. So we are done with the left-hand side. Now, on the right-hand side, we start with 11. Now, here we do, we did subtraction. So we are going to do addition, 3. When you add 3 to 11, you have 14. Okay? Then here we did multiplication. So you are going to do division of 2. Divide 2 by, you divide 14 by 2, you have 7. Therefore, your n is equal to 7. Good. I'm sure you are making progress. Let's take the last example and see how we can use flag diagram to solve equation. A boy thinks of a number. Okay, let's call the number y this time around. And multiply it by 4. So 4y. Subtract 3. Then he multiplied the result, this result, by 2 to obtain 34. Wow. So you see how the whole thing is. So with Flag diagram, we go systematically. First, we have a number we don't know. The boy 
multiply the number by 4. So that gave us 4y. He then subtracted 3 from that. So that gave us 4y minus 3. He multiplied everything by 2. So that will give us 2 into bracket 4y minus 3. So we are done with the left hand side. Now right hand side, you start with 34. That means this is equivalent to that, right? So our first step here it was multiply. So we are going to do divided by 2. So if we divide 34 by 2, that will give us 17. Then we saw subtraction here, so we are going to do addition of 3. When we add 3 to 17, we have 20. So that means this is equivalent to that. Then here we saw multiplication of 4, so it means we are going to divide by 4. Divide 20 by 4, we have 5. Therefore, our y is equal to 5. Right. So this is how we use plug diagram to solve linear equation. Go ahead and solve more questions. Create more graphs or diagrams to solve this. Thanks so much for watching.